Rock Abatko from MassInSports.com, School of Rock with Orioles manager Buck Showalter, the final edition of Buck Blog for 2015. It make you sad? It does a little bit. How about you? Yeah. I think miss it? In the season, walking out in the dugout with an empty ballpark, gosh, it tugs at your heart. And But uh, you'll be here before you know it. I could come to your house and we could just keep this going all winter if you want. I'm fine. You know, we, uh, we'll be in spring training around the corner as long as I get to come to yours. <laughs> but what is the emotion like, especially yesterday after the game, and guys lined up like they always do after a win, but you're standing in front of the dugout embracing each player. Can you even put that into words? No. I wish my uh, vocabulary allowed me, but uh, it's emotional. We started started building. You know, we I met with them yesterday about 2, 2.15, because I knew that in the game starting at 3 that it was going to be crazy after the game. Everybody's got – some people were driving right out, and rightfully so. We picked their friends for them for a long time, and – but they, I think these guys stay close together in the off season too. They stay in touch. But uh, you know, it's pretty emotional yesterday for everybody, and you, you spend that much time together, and uh, to be able to end it on a real positive stretch against some teams that were really giving us their best shot was, you know, left a good taste in everybody's mouth, and uh, uh, not where we wanted to be, and that was frustrating for everybody. But uh, you know, this too shall pass. But you know, we got a lot of work ahead of us. I think we got the right people to get it done. And you're alluding to, I know 500 is never a goal, but the fact that you needed to win five more games to get there, the last five, and did that, how proud are you, especially against that competition? Well, when you're you're five below with five to play, it is a goal. And, you know, we'll take little little victories and anything that makes our fans more proud than they would have been. And, uh, you know, we're proud of the, of the meaningful games we're playing in September, And uh, but we're more interested in doing what it takes to play meaningful games in October. And... Um, We've got to continue to reach for that and to keep a very high standard and, and hold ourselves to that. It's just like the, the defense we expect our guys to play. It's, it's part of the, the mantra, so to speak. But we're not the only ones trying to do it. We just have to stay true to it. What needs to get better? Oh, you know, I'm not one of those guys that throws a blanket around. This is the one thing we got to do that. You know, you know from a team standpoint, we've got to play better on the road. And uh, th- th- that's one path every year. You look at the team's – Playing in the postseason, they played good on the road. Uh, I'm not, you know, certainly our starting pitching was, was a challenge this year. But, uh, you know, some of the same people that did real well last year weren't quite as consistent. So we know it's in there. Um, so we all look in the mirror, you know, from the manager, the coaches, to the players. And you don't hang that around them. You know, we, we all are guilty by association and successful by association. So, um, you know, there's some things we need to do better. And it's not just the pitching. You willing to offer any predictions on which of your pending free agents are back next year? Um, you know, I uh, I have some private thoughts about it, obviously, and um, I leave that kind of to the powers to be. And my job is to manage a team, but I get I get solicited my opinion on it, and we all do. You know, at, we're all baseball fans at heart, but you know, I, I, I like them all. I'd like to keep them all of them, but uh, we know that's just not possible in today's world. We'll try. It won't be from lack of effort, and. You know, we have complete support from our ownership, I mean, more than we need. And, um, you know, Mr. Angelos and his family have been there through rock and, you know, for every through every tough time, and, and uh, they will be again. I'm Rocco Botko. He's the Orioles manager, Buck Showwater. Thanks for watching.